to tube it is your favorite game here above average cody here today to talk to you about the best aim acceleration value or look acceleration if you will here on halo infinite it seemed like you guys absolutely loved the importance of look acceleration in halo infinite video i just did recently last week so today i'm finally after all this time going to go over what i feel is the absolute best value to run for your look acceleration. I'm also going to explain how you personally can find what the best value for you is because guys, there's no clear cut value that's gonna work for every single player. This is truly gonna come down to what you're comfortable with and what your strengths are in this game. Now, of course, it is only appropriate to first explain what look acceleration even is. And it is basically the speed at which your character reaches the maximum turn speed. Now, you think about a game like Call of Duty where you set your sensitivity to whatever you want and you're turning at one constant speed at all times. However, in the game of Halo, you have always had look acceleration or aim acceleration acceleration as some games call it. This basically adds a very small window of a slower turning speed uh, basically when you're looking so you would have to push the look thumbstick further to achieve the max speed And let me kind of show you guys what I mean here So basically when you just move the stick you you are not at your max turn speed This is not what your sensitivity is It takes a little bit of turn area to hit that max speed and you can kind of see it It is slow and I'm pinning the stick guys It is slow for a split second and then it gets faster and I'm on four out of five keep in mind So this is what the higher value will look like if you set that low lower it makes for a bigger window of kind of slow turn if you will it is basically an amount of slow turn before you hit the maximum turning speed that is your sensitivity and this is one of the things that makes halo such a unique fps shooter as opposed to call of duty because again call of duty does not have this mechanic and now you'll see there is much more of an area of slow turn before that max turn speed pops up and again pinning the stick absolutely pinning it and that is the lowest value now before i get into numbers and what i think the best value is and how to find your best value guys i'm going to explain why you would even want to change this value now what i've found is the lower the value it kind of makes for a bigger window for more precise aim movements and kind of snapping target to target. Now this comes in handy if you're looking down range guys and you have to make some very precise aim movements because snapping to targets is going to be slower because again, you're not hitting that max turn speed. As you can see, I have to turn a decent amount before hitting that. So it makes for better fine aim movements and snapping to targets that are closer because you can absolutely pin your stick guys and sensitivity really won't screw you up. Now, if you've ever tried to play Call of Duty on a higher sensitivity, guys, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You over-aim all the time. You're looking at the sky when you're trying to shoot the enemy in front of you. It's crazy. And a low look acceleration really makes it easier. So I recommend a lower acceleration if you're kind of like not super experienced snapping to targets and things like that because it can make that a little bit easier, especially if you want to run a higher sensitivity because it will not affect you in, in turning around, doing 180s and things like that. It can make for a tougher snap to the next target. So again, if you're in a 1v2 or something like that, it can be a little tougher to aim. Now, you would want a higher look acceleration in the situation that you are very comfortable with your sensitivity, you, you're very experienced on FPS, and you can snap to targets much faster, guys. You can see now, these quick little movements that I'm doing uh, kind of happen a little bit faster. That is because the sensitivity is, it's closer to the true sensitivity that I'm on rather than slowing it down, and then I can turn faster, and the snapping to targets just feels a whole lot smoother and there's not much of a variation in the speed of just snapping the targets and then a full on spin there it makes it feel more like call of duty if you will i'm a big call of duty gamer here most of you already know that so that's why i run the higher uh, look acceleration now the best value i found for myself guys and again this may not work for you is four i run kind of a little bit higher sensitivity i guess than most halo players at six and a half horizontal seven on the vertical and then i run four now the reason for four is guys i do run a raised stick so when I put it on five, I felt I was having a little bit of trouble with the fine aim movements. Now, again, I'm very good at Call of Duty, guys. I have a lot of experience, and it's very easy for me to aim with one consistent kind of higher sensitivity. But on Halo, you're making fine movements like snapping up from the chest up to the head. So I found that the five look acceleration makes it kind of tough to make those very, very fine movements. So that's why I went down to four. I just feel it's a little bit smoother on snapping the targets. And I don't really notice it much on 
the uh, turning around. Personally, guys, I like a higher look acceleration because I do not like that area of slow turn. Again, I've played years and years of other FPS shooters without look acceleration, guys, so I just like it to feel as similar to those as possible. Now, how can you find what value works for you guys? I think the first step to really answering that question lies in your sensitivity. Now, if you like a lower sensitivity, guys, you're probably going to want the look acceleration on the higher end. I say this because a low sensitivity is obvious that you're going to turn slower, guys. So if you have to snap down to look at somebody, it's going to take a little bit longer. If you have to look up to grapple, it's going to take a little bit longer. More importantly, if you're getting shot in the side, guys, it's going to take you longer to snap to that target. I don't know. Maybe you're turning around to help your teammates on the point behind you in strongholds. You're trying to get to the other side of the map to grab the oddball, and they're spawning behind you. You have to turn. So if you are on a low sensitivity plus low look acceleration you are going to have some extreme slow turn and i understand guys if you're new to the game you're trying to get comfortable with it maybe that's just works best for you but i recommend trying to get one of those values higher if you want to be more effective uh just at this game in general so again i recommend a higher uh aim acceleration if you are on a lower sensitivity and obviously that goes for the opposite guys if you are on a higher sensitivity i recommend being kind of somewhere in the middle or on the lower side of the look acceleration Acceleration. I know a lot of pros like to run a high sensitivity and then the one look acceleration because look acceleration kind of cancels out the cons of the whatever look sensitivity you run. So high sensitivity, the downside is tougher fine aiming, but a low look acceleration can help you with that as I already mentioned. And then if you run a low sensitivity, you have more trouble snapping to targets quicker and kind of turning around do doing the 180 to shoot that guy behind you. A high look acceleration can help counteract that. Now it's not going to fix it all together, but it kind of makes for a smoother transition. It makes the cons of your sensitivity a little less. Now as you can see guys, I'm kind of in the middle of the two. I found a higher sensitivity I liked and then I went down on look acceleration because previously I was on a lower sensitivity with five look acceleration and then I'm like hey I'm kind of having trouble spinning around shooting these enemies so I went up on the sensitivity scale and then that's when I found out that my look acceleration felt a little bit high so I went down to four and I changed these settings around the start of season two guys and I have loved them since this is what works best for me guys and honestly feel free to comment down below if you're struggling to find the perfect values for you I've done a few sensitivity videos as well you guys can find those in the halo infinite playlist and uh, i just really hope this video helped you out guys i hope it made sense um if not again ask any of the questions down in the comments and also if you have anything to add that can be helpful to anyone on this video please comment it below i'll leave a heart on it it'll jump right to the top so that people can get help from you guys as well as the video here but that does it guys please subscribe to the channel as mentioned Tons of Halo tips and tricks videos. We play Call of Duty. That's what we've been live streaming currently, but we kind of bounce around with a lot of different games. But lately, it's been Call of Duty. So subscribe, leave a like on the video so more people can find it, guys, and get a better understanding of look acceleration here on Halo Infinite. And then finally, channel memberships, guys. Feel free to support the channel monetarily if you'd like. It helps out a lot, but please don't feel like you have to. Just viewing the video is plenty, uh, plenty thanks enough for me. But that does it, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all very much. Stay happy. Stay healthy and stay tuned for the next video.